In this video, we will review the advantages and disadvantages of aptamers for diagnostic applications. There are several advantages that justify consideration of this platform by anyone interested in a commercial diagnostic. Advantage 1. Aptamers are identified entirely in test tubes. There is no need for injection of animals. This allows us to customize selection strategies to optimize specificity. We can do counter-selection in the selection process against molecules that you do not want the aptamer to bind to. The all-in-a-tube approach enables the development of aptamers for toxic compounds that tend to kill rabbits. By doing selection in vitro, we can use exactly the same environment that your diagnostic kit will be used in. For example, if you are selecting an aptamer for an antibiotic in milk, we can do the selection in milk. Advantage 2. Aptamers are chemically synthesized. There is no need for cell lines or cell-based production of anything. We do not keep cell lines for aptamers. We maintain them as written-out sequences. This is important. Chemical synthesis means lower cost at a commercial scale, simplified good clinical practice protocol development, a high level of consistency from lot to lot, and perhaps most importantly, chemical synthesis means that there is virtually no delay between identification and production of commercial products. Advantage 3. A lot of complicated and elegant aptamer-based detection strategies have been published. A real strength of aptamers is the natural double-strand homology of DNA. A great generic approach to detection involves the use of fluorescently labeled antisense oligos that bind to the aptamer but are displaced by the aptamer binding to the target. The advantage here over secondary antibodies is that we can change the length and thus the displacement strength of the antisense molecule at will. We can engineer an optimum detection system. Advantage 4. DNA is more stable than proteins. DNA is extracted and analyzed from the tundra frozen woolly mammoths, not protein, because the DNA is still there. Our aptamer based diagnostic products do not require chilling for shipping. This is a cost saving, competitive advantage for our products for our customers. Advantage 5. There are still whole classes of molecules for which aptamers have not yet been discovered. This means that there are intellectual property positions for the use of aptamers for these molecules that developers can use to protect their market positions, lower cost and protectable markets. To be fair, there are definitely some things that antibodies do better than aptamers. I mean, there is probably a reason on the journey from the primordial soup that proteins were invented. Disadvantage 1. In general, antibodies exhibit higher levels of affinity for their targets than do aptamers. I say in general because I am not sure in a lot of cases whether the aptamer selection was performed to our standards and that the aptamer reported in the literature was necessarily the best aptamer that could be identified for a given target. Our aptamers for mycotoxins bind with similar affinity to their targets than do antibodies for the same targets. Lower binding affinity simply means that more of the aptamer has to be used in order to bind the same amount of target. Disadvantage 2. Aptamers will not bind to some targets, such as the hydrogen molecule demonstrated here. Targets that work best for aptamers are molecules that exhibit some general affinity for DNA. The ability to intercalate into DNA is helpful. We prefer molecules that are planar rather than molecules that can assume many shapes. Proteins and peptides are great targets though because they provide an abundance of target sites. Disadvantage 3. This is still a young science. We have tried most of the suggested diagnostic methods that have been published, such as electrochemical detection, channeled light waves, and coupled reactions. These may work for others, but it's been our experience that none of these approaches work in relevant detection matrices. We've also found that many published aptamers simply don't work either, but that's another subject. We have developed commercial diagnostic platforms that do work in grain extracts, milk, wine, and beer. Disadvantage 4. Aptamers are generally more expensive to identify than antibodies. Aptamer identification is labor intensive. We cannot get around that. If we automate the aptamer identification process, then we reduce our ability to select for optimum specificity. This is a delicate process. Too much selection pressure is too early, and the really good binding sequences are lost. Too little selection pressure, and the desired specificity is not obtained. This is a science that requires considerable expertise and mathematical modeling. This is more dynamic than injecting your target molecule into an animal and screening the results. The higher upfront cost is, however, more than justified by the lower cost in moving the discovery from identification to commercialization. 
and the subsequent lower cost of commercial production. Our company has commercialized aptamers in diagnostics. This means that we can provide our understanding of commercial diagnostic constraints in the design of custom aptamer selection strategies. We provide you with support through all the stages of aptamer-based diagnostic development for the targets you are interested in. For more information, please visit our website or contact us by email or by phone. Thanks for listening.